his next weapon. Yeah, and here you go. How about the live pictures uh, from uh, Kennedy Space Center? This is uh, the launch pad 39B where the magic uh, hopefully will happen on Monday. Of course, weather permitting and uh, our next weather team will be here following along. In fact, uh, we are looking for the potential of a few showers here. They're very restrictive, as you can imagine, uh, with this launch here. So 10, 20 miles can't have any precipitation, can't have any lightning. So going to watch this closely and the clock here noticing a few showers of this onshore flow that we've had, right? This is Monday, the window opens at 833 and there you see a few showers kind of moving along. This will tend to change, of course, as far as the next couple of days. But the 45th weather squadron has it at 70% go for launch. As far as weather, we'll keep you posted and again, live reports starting on Monday. Next radar network, pretty quiet for us right now as we continue to see the showers and storms. They have pretty much uh, gone to the west here and we are done for the night. Clear skies and uh, just a couple of morning showers possible. And we'll get you into that forecast, but tropical moisture is going to be coming in. We're going to have a system to our south and everything I think is coming together for a better shot as showers and storms both tomorrow and heading into Sunday as well. So we'll put this in motion and be able to see a few showers in the morning and then by the afternoon clusters of thunderstorms. Just an indication this is not going to be exact, right? These uh, models update every hour, but there you see some changes there with showers and storms are developing as we hit into the afternoon and into the evening. And we'll kind of do that again as we hit through a Sunday. Sunday, I think better rain chances, particularly right along the coast here tomorrow, more of an inland threat like we had for today. And then everything books to the south and west. That hasn't changed. That will continue uh, for a southwestern part of the peninsula. Next five days, a couple of areas uh, that we're watching. Both are low as far as potential. We'll start here. Eastern Atlantic, 30% uh, probability of this uh, developing. We'll watch this, but this is way out there in the East Atlantic. Plenty of time to watch that. And if anything, that would go north if it develops. And this uh, looks pretty anemic right now. I don't see much here. In fact, this would go to the west and away from Florida, so not a threat right now. So we're looking good as far as tomorrow. Again, midday showers, afternoon storms. We'll do that again as we head through uh, Sunday. I think Sunday the storms will be closer to uh, the beaches, so keep that in mind, although conditions looking pretty good on the water uh, with uh, seas at uh, one to two feet there and just like chops. There you go. Temperatures for the uh, tailgate into the upper 90s. going to be hot afternoon. No question there. And showers and storms at 40%. We're going to bump that up to 60% coverage Sunday, Monday and into the early part of next week.